Welcome to another Highland League weekly preview show. I'm Ryan Crail and here's Callum Law with everything you need to know about this weekend's big game. The main game for us this weekend on Highland League weekly is the GPH Builders Merchants Highland League Cup quarter final between Keith and Bucky Thistle at Kynich Park. It's the two most successful sides in the competition's history going head to head. The Maroons have lifted the cup on 10 occasions, while the Jags have triumphed in this tournament on eight occasions. Keith, however, are looking to get to their first Highland League Cup semi-final since they last won it back in 2013, while Bucky have been defeated in three finals in 2014, 2020 and 2022, since they last won the League Cup in 2012. Both sides hoping to take a step closer to glory on Saturday. You'll be able to see who manages it on Monday's Highland League Weekly. OK, competition time then. First things first, we must clear up last week's competition winner. Now, the question, of course, was when was the last year that Strasby Thistle beat Nairn County? The answer, of course, was 2018. And our winner, who entered by email, was James Shaw Lang. Now, James, I can't remember if you told us if you wanted a mug or a Crystal Paul tea towel. I think I probably know what you want, but just confirm if you would by email when you also send us your address to sportofpressandjournal.co.uk. This week's question is quite a timely one. It's based on something that happened last weekend. For Martin United, they've been in the Highland League a while now, but on Saturday, a player for the first time in the Highland League era reached 100 goals for the club, 100 goals in the Highland League era, to be clear. Give us that player's name and you could be in a chance with winning one of these. Or one of these. As always, answer sport at pressandjournal.co.uk by email or you can comment below on YouTube or Facebook or Twitter or whatever you're watching. Good luck. The second game for us in Highland League Weekly is the GPH Builders Merchants Highland League Cup quarter final between Brora Rangers and Forest Mechanics at Dudgeon Park. And here's three things you need to know. Brora have won the competition on two occasions, the last of which was in 2022, while Forest are the third most successful club in the history of the League Cup having won it seven times, but their last triumph was back in 2010. The Cartichs reached the last eight of this competition with an impressive 7-0 win against Clachnacudden at Dudgeon Park, while Forrest got through, beating Banks Adi 4-2 at Spain Park. This is the first meeting of the sides this season. Last term, they played each other twice. So there were the two league games, and Brora won both of them, 4-0 at Dudgeon Park and 8-0 at Mossett Park. Crystal Paul, time last week, big week for the opposition, myself and you know Callum's also contributed over the season as well. We are up to 16 points, Paul, you're only on four. I hate this game. <laughs> I got four last weekend due to correctly guessing the score between Nairn County and Strath Spey, 4-1. I was also one goal away from getting the full house of six points because I had Fraser about to win 5-2 against Clark and they won 6-2, which was disappointing, but still stretching that lead out. This week's predictions, we're starting with Keith against Bucky Thistle. Both games are going to be predicting our course in the GPH Builders Merchants Highland League Cup. How do you see this one going? I, yeah, I've got to pick Bucky, but I think Keith will score. Mm -hmm. um, although, B B Bucky tend to concede more in the cup games. Um, maybe it's just the nature of the competition. I'm going to go for a five goal thriller and Bucky to edge it 3-2. Okay, I'm going to go Bucky to win 4-1. Yeah. All right. Game two is Brewer Rangers against Forest Mechanics at Dudgeon Park. Two northern powerhouses as things stand at the moment. Yes, um, Brewer will be bruised a little bit, I think, from conceding that injury time equaliser of the 10-man lo locos in the league last weekend. But I did see Forest perform very well in beating Banks Adi in the last round. I'm going to take the Can Cans to nick it again on the road, this time 2 1. Forest seemed to me more slightly off the boil in their league game that followed the Banks of D game um, last weekend. So I'm going to have Brora to win this one 3 1. 
Tune back in next week to find out how we got on. Inverurie Locals two wins this season have come in the GPH Builders Merchants Highland League Cup, but they face a tough task as they go to Glebe Park, home of the breeding Highland League champions, Brecon City. However, Locos did beat Brecon at Harlow Park in the semi-final of the Cup last season on their way to reaching the final. Now the Jags will have to be better at taking their chances than they were in their loss in Nairn County last Saturday where they could have been ahead by half time. Fraserburgh meanwhile, they're having no problems taking their chances of late and Strasby will have to stop Messers, Barber, Butcher, Sargent and a whole load of other players if they have any chance of going through. For Martin can go level on points with league leaders Bucky if they win this game, although they would need to prevail by seven goals to go top of the table on goal difference. However, they won't find it easy against Devon Vale. The Bamfers have only lost twice in their opening six league games. Losky Mouth are still searching for their first win of the league campaign as they host a Nairn County side who picked up their first three points last weekend. County also head to Lossie in good form, having beaten their opponents in the North of Scotland Cup last midweek. Now Alan Hale, he felt Huntley were poor in the second half of their 3-0 defeat to Bucky Thistle at the weekend, despite a bright start. Turriff, meanwhile, they had their shooting boots on at Wick Academy. Dare I say it, but I'm going to predict there'll be goals in this one. That's it for another Highland League weekly preview show. Just a reminder that we'll be back on Monday with our regular highlight show this week. The highlights games are going to be Keith against Bucky Thistle and Bro Rangers against Forest Mechanics in the GPH Builders Merchants Highland League Cup. There's obviously the league games on as well and we'll have all the sort of the results and the chat and the analysis about what's happened over the weekend. Before then, you can follow us on social media. We're on Twitter, now known as X, I think. Facebook, YouTube, TikTok. Find us there. You can also get the latest Highland League news from the Press and Journal by subscribing to one of our Highland League newsletters. There's a link to do that on the page somewhere below this video. Before we see you next, please enjoy the football, whichever games you're watching.